Hello and welcome to the 42nd tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we will be looking at structs. Structs also referred to as structures by some developers are a way of grouping data, data aka variables and methods. Usually the data grouped together are connected in some form. For example an address book may have a structure which has user details, so maybe their contact name, their contact address, phone number, etc. And you might have a method rather than a phone this person. So you might have them on a mobile device. Let's just show you how to implement a really simple struct within C++. Later on we're going to be looking at classes. Structs are very similar to classes, but classes are a new thing in C++ when we compare to C. Um, obviously it's in other languages as well, but that's what makes this language object oriented. So let's just put in our struct. So struct, so you use the keyword struct, now you name your struct, I'm just going to put car. Then you put curly braces, and then after that you put, oh, ignore that, after that you put a semicolon. And now you're well, you just put your variable that method, so you put int age, put zero, let's get rid of that. In, So just bear with me a second. It's annoying. Okay, put a semicolon there, and then we're going to create a new variable called speed. So as you can see, we're just creating variables in a normal fashion. Now let's just create a function. So void quint function, and in here we're simply going to do a C out that just says quint. Do an end line. Now to actually use the struct, what you do is actually create a struct object. So you do the name of your struct, so car, and then the name of your object variables. So I'm going to put BMW, then put Toyota, semicolon, then we, then we can just access its variables and methods, but bmw.speed, change this to 900, and now we can just do std, cout, bmw.speed std and line. Now if we run this, we're just going to open up the debug window. No, it prints at 900, even though it's already set to 100. So if we just comment on this line a second, it prints at 100 because it was originally set to 100. What we're also going to do is bmw.print function semicolon. If we run this, we get 900 and print because we've accessed the method BMW. We're not going to be doing anything with Toyota, but you can. So, yeah, yeah, as you can see, this is a nice, easy way to group uh, common data properties together. That's it for this tutorial on structs. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at type aliasing. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.